What's up YouTube? This is uh, my first video on the Rider on Storm channel. Trying this out. Had a couple people ask me to take some videos of the truck and I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. So here it is. This is my 1985 Chevy C30 one ton known as 50 Shades of Chevy. It has more than 30 plus trucks in it. Um, we're just going to go through a few pieces of it. A few of my friends wanted to see how many pieces were actually in it. So this truck does have 10 different colors on it. Uh, we'll start from the front to the back. It is an 85, but it does have a 76 nose on it with a 79 hood. You can tell it's a 79 because of the ridge, which is covered up by a bug shield. It has a 74 small block 350 grill in it. Followed by some HID lights, bug shield. The doors are off of a 74 Sierra Grande, which is a Suburban. They're red. The cab is all stock. The cab outside is all stock. It does have a Lund sun visor on it that's green. This does have the older 78 wiper towers as well as wiper arms on it. The bed is off of a 77, I believe. The bed sides are off of a 77. The bed floor is actually stock. I made this bed. The wheel wells are off of something else. And the headboard is still stock. So I peeled the sides off of my bed and put them on the dually sides. It has an LMC smoothie tailgate, which does not have any embossed anythings on it. It's completely smooth, which I like. This is the only piece of OG metal. That's not OG metal, excuse me. And then it has a 91 Suburban bumper on it. That's tucked up nice and tight. Has trailer hitch off of a regular pickup that's why it sticks out so far and it's rolling on Eagle alloys in 19 fives aluminum outers steely inners these are fully polished by me I might do a tutorial on that later has Amazon style hubcaps and that's as much for the outside the one thing I did forget is the Fastback is a Lund. This is a Facebook buy sell trade score. And it's in perfect condition. I really, really like it. Last thing I forgot to mention is the giant West Coast style mirrors with five foot whips that aren't hooked up. <laughs> Mirror, the glass themselves were sourced from a local truck shop. And so are the spot mirrors. But the brackets and everything are all Amazon. That's as much for the outside. Here we are on the inside. Uh, it's pretty stock. It has a GMC wheel that came from, I'm not sure. None of these gauges work, except for the speedometer, which is really off because this used to be a diesel truck. Uh, so you just rely on these gauges. It's good enough. It has 88 Suburban seats in it, the captain's chairs with the double armrests. The center console is out of a Jeep YJ, and it fits pretty good. The rear seats are all stock, and a little dirty. And used to have a sound system. That doesn't work anymore. Headliner is actually new, put in by not me. And not even the visors match. So we're keeping the theme on the inside. But all the plastics and everything are still stock. Power plant. This is a 454 cubic inch big block Chevy of unknown year. I'm not sure if this is a Gen 3, Gen 4. I'm not exactly sure. It has a brand new Edelbrock 1406 650 CFM carburetor. The big tall 4 inch air cleaner. Shiny valve covers. Good stuff. I was able to use the 4 core big block radiator as opposed to the 3 core that was on this core support originally. You have to make, made my own 
radiator mount tabs that work totally fine. It does have a turbo 400 transmission that's completely stock. It does very, very well. The other thing that is special to this truck is that this has a built Dana 70 disc brakes, open diff, all new brake lines, and if I can get it in there, Firestone Ride Rights. So this truck hauls a lot and it passes everything but a gas station. It's a lot of fun. I put a camper in here, put my boat on here. There'll probably be upcoming videos of that. So that's it as far as 50 Shades of Chevy goes. Uh, I'd like to do some more videos, maybe some how-tos. But I figured this would be a great start. So if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, share. More to come. Thanks.